Hi there. Welcome to your ASMR cranial nerve exam today. Make yourself comfortable and I'm just going to pull up your medical notes. There's a bit of a storm outside today. I hope the journey here was all right. Good. Okay. Let's have a look then at this. Okay, so it seems like you had a bit of a fall last week, is that right? All right. And your notes say that you were having some headaches as well. Was that before or after the fall? Okay, and have they been worse or better over the last few days? And have you been taking any medication? All right. So what I'm going to do today is just test the nerves in your face, head and neck to see if they're functioning as normal. So I'm going to start, if it's alright, just by having a feel around your face and your neck to see if there are any areas that feel particularly sore or sensitive. So I will just get some gloves. This is a nice, straightforward examination, but if you feel at all uncomfortable at any point, do just let me know, okay? Good. Right. So I'm going to get a little closer to you, and I'm just going to start by feeling around your head and your temples. Okay, if you could stay nice and still for me. Good. And as I'm moving around, just let me know if anywhere feels particularly sore or tender, or if it just feels as normal. And how about over here? Okay. Just down the centre of your face, onto the bridge of your nose. Okay. And across your cheeks, under your eyes. Alright, no tenderness there at all. Okay, and how about on your jawbone? Just here on the left side of your face. and down onto your neck this side. Okay. Good. And the same this side. Just around your jawbone there. And down onto your neck. No tenderness. No, I can't feel any swelling at all. So when you fell, did you bump your head or did you fall elsewhere? Okay. Okay. I'm just going to run my fingers around your hairline there. I'm just going to check your heart 
and your breathing as well to see if it all sounds all right in your chest. So, I'm going to start just by checking your heart. Okay, you can sit nice and still for me. So we're just going to listen to your lungs now. Have you noticed any pain or difficulty breathing? Right, okay. So I'm just going to place this onto your chest at the front here. Now if you could take a nice, deep, slow breath in for me, please. Good, and out. Again, just a slow breath in for me. And out. Okay, and just around the back here. That's it, just a nice slow breath in for me. And out. And the same on the right side of your chest here. Slow breath in for me. And out. Good. And just down here again, slow breath in for me. now is just take a few quick measurements across your face and this is just so that we can note any changes over time, any increases in asymmetry or anything that might um, suggest that you have some issues with muscle tension in the face. So, I'd like you to sit up nice and straight for me, and look directly at me. Good. And I'm going to start here at your nose and measure out towards your ear. And 
Use your forehead temple to temple. measure from the centre of your eye down to the tip of your chin on the right side first, so from your right eye just down there to the tip of your chin. Good. And same from your left eye, just down to the tip of your chin. Good. And now I'm going to measure from your ear, here, to the tip of your nose. Okay, so the ear on the right side of your head, just towards the tip of your nose there. Good. And the same on this side, just from your ear on the left side of your head, across to the tip of your nose. Excellent. Great job. this one away a moment. And what we're going to do next is just test your visual acuity. Um, so making sure there aren't any issues going on with your vision or your right sight that might be contributing to your headaches. So have you had any recent appointments with the optician? Okay, so a little while ago. And at that time, were there any changes to your prescription? Okay. Right. Alright. So I have this little pen light here. And what I'm going to do for the next section of the test is just ask you to look directly at me. I don't want you to look at the light. Um, I want you to focus right on my nose. I'm going to put my hand here between your eyes and I'm just going to look to see how your pupils react to the light. So try to keep looking directly at my face if you can. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I think the birds outside are appreciating that the storm appears to be lifting slightly. Yeah, it's nice to hear them sometimes. Good. Just keep looking directly at me. That's it. You're doing a Brilliant job. Okay. That looks all good to me. Well done. Okay. So now I'd like you to follow the light, please. So you're going to look directly at the light and just follow it around as best you can with your eyes without moving your head. Okay. So start here and if you could keep your head nice and still for me and just follow that light as it moves its way around. Good. Great job. Just keep following that light with your eyes. Very good. Okay. And I'm going to go a bit quicker now. Good. Well done. That's it. Just keep following that light with your eyes. Don't look anywhere else, just keep your eyes on that light. Good job. And I'm just going to take it this way. Let me know when you can't see it anymore. Good. And the same over this way. Let me know when you can't see it anymore. Good. And the same again. Alright. 
and same again this way. Good. Alright, and now same to the top. Keep your head nice and still and let me know when you can't see it. Good. And same this way. Good. Good, well done. Okay. Now I have this one. And I'm just going to use it for a moment to cover your right eye. And I'd like you to please follow the light with your left eye. So keep your uh, head nice and still for me again. And then just here, you can see the light there. Good. Just see if you can follow the light with your left eye there. Good. Well done. Very good. Okay, keep going following that light. And the same again, let me know when it disappears from view, keeping your head nice and still. Very good. Alright. And the same left to right, let me know when it disappears from view. Good. Okay, and now we're going to switch eyes. So I'm just going to cover your left eye here. And the same again, just follow that light with your eyes. With your right eye, just keep following that light there. Very good. Good. And same again, let me know when you can't see it anymore. Good. Same again. This way. Good. Very good. Great job. So, there is a chart behind me on the wall. Can you see that chart okay? Good. All right. Let's see how many of the letters you can read. I know you may not be able to read all of them, but don't worry about it. So, can you read this first line for me? Yeah. 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 Good. And how about this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep, and this one. Good. And how about this line for me? How's that looking? Can you read the whole line? All right. And what letters of this line can you read? Okay. And how about any of these? Alright, and can you tell me what colour this is? And this one? Good, okay. Right. I have a slightly smaller chart here. So we'll see how we get on with this one. So I'm just going to put this one up in front of you at this sort of distance here. And I just want you to read from the top for me and work your way down. Okay. So, what's this letter? Good. And this one? And this one. Okay, and this one. Good. And this one. This one. Keep going for me. And just keep going until you can't see the letters anymore. Okay, very good. Keep going. A little bit tricky on that one. Okay, so if I say this one, good, and this one, and what about this letter, and what about this letter, and this letter here. All right, good, very good. Based on your notes, your vision is about what I'd expect, but it's probably worth going to see your optician again just to see if there are any subtle changes to your prescription that might help. All right. Good. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I've just got a couple of cards that I'd like to show you. 
This will show whether your vision is working normally. And I just want you to tell me what you can see, okay? So this first one here, what do you see? Good, elephant. Now look again, what's wrong with the elephant? Okay, so the feet here don't actually line up with the body. That's right. But your brain corrects the image for you, so when you first look at it, you see a complete elephant. Very good. Okay. And another one just here. And I'd just like you to tell me firstly, what colours can you see in this corner? Good. Yeah. 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 And this one up here, what colour is that one? Good. Okay. So, what I'd like you to tell me, please, is which of the coloured lines does the white line line up with? So, follow your eyes across from the white line and tell me which one, which of the coloured lines does the white line line up with? Okay, so if I just put this card on here like this, you can see that actually it's the yellow line, but your brain is tricking you into thinking that it's either the blue or the red line, which is what most people see. So that's all good. And now, how about this one here? What do you see when you look at this pattern? Can you see individual circles or do you see lots of circles overlapping? Good, okay. Lots of circles overlapping. Absolutely. So they are actually individual circles, but again the majority of people will see into, uh, circles overlapping, so that suggests to me that your vision is working as we'd expect there. And one last one. One here, I'd like you to just focus right in the centre on that little black dot and I'm just going to move this card towards your face and as I do I'd like you to tell me what you can see or what's happening to those circles, alright? Okay. And away. Good. Keep focusing on that dot in the centre. Okay, and one last time, what's happening there, mm -hmm. as that's moving towards you? Good, okay, that's right, so sometimes people can, it looks as though those circles are moving against one another, but they're actually of course static. Great, okay, so what I'm going to do now is just a short focus test, so I have this little light here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, ask you to look directly at me, and then when I go like this, I'd just like you to focus quickly on that light, little light, okay? And I'm just going to see how your eyes adjust to the focus. Okay, right, so here we go. Look directly at me, and focus on the light. Good, and focus on the light. Good, and look directly at me. And focus on the light. Good. 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 And look directly at me again. And now focus on the light. Good. And focus on the light. Focus on the light. Focus on the light there. Look at me again, and focus on the light again, and look back at me again. Good, well done. Now I need to test your peripheral vision. So, it looks good already, the things that we've done, but what I'm going to do is just ask you to follow my fingers and tell me when they move out of your field of vision. Okay, so look directly at my fingers 
and now just follow as they move and tell me when they disappear out of view. Good. And again. Good. Okay, and tell me when they come back into view. Good. Okay. And again, tell me when they come back into view. All right. And same this way. So tell me when they disappear from view. Good, okay, and same again when they disappear from view. And when they come back into view. And the same again when they come back into view. Alright, and this way. Good, and same when they come back in. And the same again on the way out. Now I'm going to put them out to the peripherals and I would just like you to tell me or point for me where you see movement, if any. Good. Good. Okay, keep pointing. Great job, well done. Keep going. coloured blocks and I would just like you to tell me what colour you see as I hold each one up. So, what colour is this one? Good. And what colour is this one? Okay. And how about this one? And this one? Mm-hmm. And what about this one? Good. And how about this one? All right. And how about this one? Good. Okay. Which one is red? Mm-hmm. And which one is red? Good. And which one is red? Good. Which one is pink? Mm-hmm. Which one is blue? Good, okay. Which one is orange? All right. And which one is white? Well done. So I'm just going to add some notes about that one. So as I said, I'd suggest that we make an appointment with an optician for you just to have your vision tested more thoroughly. But I can't see anything that's causing me any concern in terms of your visual acuity, your eyesight, and so on. So I'm going to move on now to do some uh, tests with regards to your sense of touch. So the first thing I'd like you to do for me, please, is just raise your eyebrows as high as you can. Good, okay, and lower those eyebrows and raise them again. Good. And now blow out your cheeks for me. Just pat them out. That's it. And same again. Great. Okay. Now I just need you to blink whenever I say so. If you could blink for me. Good. And blink. And blink. And blink. And blink, blink, blink. And blink, blink, blink. blink. And blink, 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 blink. And blink, blink, blink. And blink, 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 blink. And blink again. And blink again. And blink, blink, blink. And blink, blink, blink. 
squeeze them tight, as tightly close as you can. And I'm just going to try to pull your eyes open, your lids. So, are you ready? Okay, close those eyes tight for me. And just resist as I try to pull those lids open. That's it, you just keep on resisting. Very good. Great, okay. Now smile for me and show me your teeth. Great, okay, well done. And now I'm just going to put my hands onto your shoulders and press them down. And as I do, I'd like you to try to lift them up and resist against me. Okay, so, and lift. I keep trying to lift, that's it, keep going. Good, very good, well done, okay. And now we're going to do the same with your head. So I'm going to place my hand on your left cheek and press, and I'd like you to resist against the pressing of my hand. Done. And then the same on the other side. Press into my hand here. Great. Okay, you're doing a great job. Well done. Okay, so now what I need to do is just um, a reflex test of your blink reflex. So I'm just going to tap on your head here. So good. And same again. Good, okay. And now I'm just going to move this towards your eye. Just nice and quickly. Pop. And same again. Good. And same again. Alright. Good. Okay, so that's just testing your blink reflex there. As something moves towards your eye. And that looks to be all good. Very good, well done. Okay, now the final sensory test for your sense of touch. It's just whether you can feel the difference between something that is soft and something that is dull or a little bit pointy. So I'm going to use this one again and when I touch your face, can you tell that that's soft? Good. And now I have this one here, just a little plastic cap. And when I touch your face, can you tell the difference? Can you tell that that's dull? Great, alright. So what I'd like you to do, please, is just close your eyes for me. And I'm going to do that a few different places around your face and your neck. And just tell me whether you're feeling something that's soft or dull. Alright, here we go. Soft or dull. is just test your sense of smell. So I have these little uh, fragrance bottles here, just very small ones, each with a different fragrance in them. I'm just going to mist that gently in front of you and I'd just like you to tell me firstly whether you can smell it or, and if you can smell it, what it smells of, alright? Okay, here we go. First one. Good, okay, lemon, that's fine. 
And what colour is this one? Great, okay, just making sure. And the same for this one, I'm just going to spray it across in front of you. And what can you smell with that one? Coffee, good. Alright, and the next one. Okay, I'm just going to move slightly further back from you. Can you smell that one? Okay, again. Good, that's right, it's strawberry. Okay. And how about this one? So I'm going to spray this one away from you towards me. Can you smell that one? It's a strong one, isn't it? Yeah, that's mint. That's right. Okay. And one more here. Can you smell this one? Okay, and again. Right, there's no smell with that one, that one's just water. Alright, last one. I think this one's quite a tricky one to get anyway, but we'll see how you get on, no pressure. Okay, so, just in front of you here. Okay, same on this side. Can you smell that one? It is cinnamon, that's right, well done. What I need to do now then is I'm just going to have a quick look in each nostril. So if you could just tilt your head slightly for me so I can have a quick look. your mouth for me and take a big deep breath in through your nose. Good, okay. And now just put your hand or your finger over your left nostril and close it for me and take a big deep breath in through your right nostril. Good. And same on the other side for me. Good, well done. swallow reflex so I just have a glass of water here and I would just like you to take a couple of sips for me and just swallow that down all right good okay great and just swallow that down for me okay any issues or difficulties with swallowing or does it feel sore or uncomfortable at all just going to take a quick look inside your mouth then. So if you could open your mouth nice and wide for me. Great. Okay. Good. And just checking around the roof of your mouth and your teeth again to make sure that there are no injuries or abrasions or areas that look sore. Okay, and if you could stick your tongue. 
tongue out for me. Good, and then just lift it up for me. Great, and I'm just going to look in, if you don't mind, to the sides of your cheeks here. just on this left side of your face here. And now if you could just say ah for me. Good. Okay. Great. That looks all good in there. And when was the last time that you had a dental checkup? Okay. Any issues there at all? Any fillings or any work recommended? Okay. All good so far. Okay, so I'm just going to check very quickly your sense of taste. So I have these little dropper bottles and they've just got some flavourings in them and I just want you to tell me if you can recognise those flavourings. All right. Good. Okay, so if you could just stick out your tongue for me, I'm just going to drop a couple of drops onto your tongue there. One, two, three. Good. And just see for a moment if you can see what that flavour is. Good, that's right, that's chocolate. And this next one. Okay. Again, just a couple of drops here. Just stick out your tongue for me. Good. One, two, three. And just have a moment. What's that flavour? Good, lemon, that's right, it's quite strong, isn't it? So it's quite recognisable. Okay, and just finally this one. And same again, if you could just stick out your tongue for me. Good, and one, two, three. And I'm just going to leave that with you for a moment and you have a little think about what that flavour is. Alright, and what was that flavour? Banana, good. Well done. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a look at your ears and then I'm going to test your hearing. Have you noticed any issues with your hearing lately at all? Okay, so an infection in the inner ear can cause a bit of muffling sometimes and a bit of pain and it can also cause a bit of imbalance which may have led to you falling over. So I'll just have a quick look. Got an otoscope here. Let's have a look and see if we can see what's going on there. So I'm just going to start.
your ears do actually look a little bit um, red inside. There are a couple of signs of infection, so I think that might be something to do with it. What I'm going to do next is just test your hearing. So I'm going to cover up one of your ears and I'm going to whisper a number inside the opposite ear and I'd just like you to repeat that number back to me. If you can't hear at all, just let me know. Okay, so just starting by covering up your right ear here and if you would like to please tell me uh, what number I'm saying into your left ear. So, And swap sides. 44. Good. 322. Great. 667. gloves on my hand and I'd just like you to close your eyes for me and tell me how many taps can you hear. Okay, are you ready? Good, okay, so right ear first. Good. Okay. Good. some notes which will be sent across to your GP with my recommendations. So I'll carry on with that now. Um, but I do recommend, as I said, that you do book a follow-up appointment with your optician just to have your prescription checked and make sure it's the right one for you. Okay? Lovely. Well, safe journey home in this weather and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.